Tonight, at least one U.S. senator is calling for the CIA director to resign after the agency admitted today to spying not on a foreign government but on our own Congress. Improperly finding their way into U.S. Senate computers during an investigation into the CIA's interrogation techniques after 9-11. We get details tonight from NBC's Andrea Mitchell. For months, the CIA has denied spying on the Senate, hacking into computers, spying on Senate investigators looking into alleged CIA torture of prisoners after 9-11. The CIA director was emphatic in March. The CIA went into their computers and took documents out and were attempting to block their own investigation. The facts will come out, but let me assure you that CIA in no way was spying on the SSCI or the Senate. At issue, a suspected CIA cover-up of waterboarding and other harsh interrogation techniques during the Bush years. The Senate Intelligence Chair demanded answers. I have grave concerns that the CIA's search may well have violated the separation of powers principles embodied in the United States Constitution. Today, the CIA's own watchdog, the Inspector General, said Brennan was wrong. Five agency employees, including two attorneys, improperly accessed the computers, launching a keyword search of all and a review of some of the emails of Democratic staff members. Who authorized the search? We need to know why they thought it was legal, and we know, need to know how that person is going to be held accountable. Other senators are demanding that the CIA director, John Brennan, one of the president's closest advisors, be fired. This is that five-year-long torture investigation is about to be released any day now. 